purlins are now in place ready for the roof. Weather had improved such a lot now and grass was growing, springtime was on its way. Also a lot warmer but still very wet underfoot. It was surprising how much bigger the building actually looked just by putting the wooden purlins on. It looked absolutely fantastic. We did try to take as many photos from different angles as possible at different lights and different times of the day. But anyway, ready for the roof. One reason we use contractors to erect the building is because mainly because of safety. They did hang nets underneath on the purlins just in case they went through the roof. I also put a guide rail around the edge in case they fell off. Obviously we didn't want any accidents to happen. It took them about four days to put the completed roof on both sides. Two days down one side and two days down the other. Finally, it's starting to look like a building. We did consider going for a complete open ridge in the building. Uh, this would have helped at a later date as the summer days tend to be a little warm, especially with this global warming. Also, it would have helped the cows with the ventilation. Fitting the concrete panels is a very straightforward operation. The panels just simply sit onto some angle and are held with plates on the rear. The uneven ground is now quite apparent. As you can see, we would need quite a large amount of fill to make the floor level on the internal. And also, it will be backed up outside with the topsoil and fill we saved earlier. There was approximately about two to three meters of fill to go in up to the panels. The building is really starting to take shape now. We needed extra ventilation so we used Yorkshire boarding on the two sides and the rear of the building. It is really taking shape now and looking like a cow barn. I tried to take as many photographs as possible along the build to try to give you an example of how the building was constructed and put together. So far it's looking pretty good. It's nice to now be getting into the summertime where a lot more work can be done on the ground and the internals of the building. From the photos you can see just how much fill we actually require to bring the ground up to level. It also supports the inside and the outside of the building as the original field falls away at such a steep angle. Subscribe and ring that little bell. This will notify you of every time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.